Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. In this video, we will talk about the first of the Deepstone Crypt challenges, the Red Rover Challenge. If you like this video, feel free to like it and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. So this is the first of the raid challenges dropped and it's in the Crypt Security area. If you're unfamiliar how to do that encounter, I have a quick video that you can check out for more details. So the key to this challenge this week is that all the players have to use Operator somewhere within the encounter. There are multiple ways you could probably do this. There are probably ways that are quicker. Thanks to Wade Duck and my clan for kind of coming up with this strategy. Again, the strategies I like to come up with, again, for part-time guardians are things that are easily repeatable and things that pretty much anyone can do. I'm sure you could do this quicker and faster, better timing. But again, this is something that any raid group should be able to do, even in an LFG, it should be pretty simple. So to quarter this is, again, what we did is we did in roster order, we gave everyone a number, one through six, okay? So the first person was basically the first operator. Now to make sure we gave people as much time as possible because you have that minute timer where you'll actually die in the below area, what we did is we had the first person's pickup operator on the dark side. Then we let them kind of hang out in the, uh, the top for a little bit until the scanner picked up scanner on the left side. Once that occurred, they went down, scanner actually went in, did the scanning that they needed to do, told them again just what the two areas were on the left, and then that's where the person who had an operator again will do what they do. They will go ahead and get those two areas on the dark side. While that's occurring, the scanner passes the scanner over to the, to the light side. The light side person will start doing the scan they need to do. Around this time, the operator will be done with his buff down below. He will send the operator up to the number two player in your clan roster order. That person will go down and will use the, the callouts from the light side scanner to actually go and complete and start the DPS phase. At that point, the operator who's down below will send the operator back up. The number three person in your roster order will actually pick that up, again, on the dark side. And then the scanner will send the scanner back down to the operator who is already down there. The operator proceed to just call two of the fuses. You can do more, but again, you're gonna need three phases if you're gonna use my method. So they'll actually do that. You'll do DPS, take out the two fuses. The operator that is down below at this point then puts scanner back into the augment terminal. The operator that is number three will come and let that operator back out so they can return to the light side. And then you just rinse and repeat. So basically the number three person does the shoots the ones that are on the dark side. You do kind of that rotation again. The operator who is number four will go and shoot the ones that are on the light side and will also tell you which fuses that you need to hit. The fifth person will go down, do the ones on the dark side. And then the sixth person, the sixth operator, the last person in your roster order will then go down below and then shoot or punch his terminals. will scan and determine which ones you take out of the fuses, and then at that point you're done with the encounter. Again, it's pretty easy. We got ours in our second attempt, and the first attempt was just, you know, dumb timing. But again, the, a couple of things that can you mess you up is don't be too in a hurry to send down your operator at the very beginning. You do want to give the operators enough time to kind of finish what they need to do. Now, I know they only need to do two, so it isn't as long they need to be down there, but there's a lot of handoffs, and sometimes those handoffs can get delayed because um, of servitors, and that's another point. Make sure when you're up above that you're taking down servitors constantly because you're going to be getting so many transfers over. If you have servitors up and they're on another side of the room and you haven't taken them out yet, then that can potentially cause an issue. Again, weapons aren't going to be a big deal as far as DPS, so just your average weapons will work just fine. Just make sure you can take the servitors down, continue to take ads out because with everything going on, with everybody putting things in the terminals, a lot of people will be vulnerable, so ads can become an issue. And then you're done. You get the achievement, and again, on to the next one for the next week. Again, that's the video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. That really helps me out. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you, Guardians, in the Tower.